guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you're doing well welcome to another video and welcome back to another tbr bingo video i'm very excited to be bringing this game back um i took a couple months off uh with the ex expectation that my baby was going to be here and i was going to have as much time to read that was very much the case i'm still in transition with you know everything that has to come with being a new mom but I miss the game so much and I really wanted to film something that was going to bring me a lot of joy and this game definitely does that. If you guys have never watched a TBR Bingo video before, basically how it works, I use a ball cage filled with balls, I spin that, pick a ball, the number on the ball correlates to a prompt and that prompt is used to pick a book off of my TBR. I will leave the playlist in the description box below and in the cards above, wow that was hard to say, um, if you guys want to go check out any previous installments of this game. I am not going to be going over my previous TBR Bingo TBR just because that was back in October. I didn't read a whole bunch of them, and I'm not going to hold myself to it. I stopped doing punishments a little while ago, and I'm going to hold to that for the new year. So hopefully you guys don't mind, but I am just trying to do this so I can have a little fun, not so I can pressure myself into reading books that I don't have time for. That being said, I just want to say Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and stayed safe and had lots of fun. And I'm hoping that 2023 is going to bring great things for all of us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the TBR jar pool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the TBR jar pull. Uh, I'm nervous. I have not updated this bag in a while, so a lot of like the newer stuff that I have on my list that I really want to get to is not in here. So <laughs> let's just hope I get a good one because I need it. Okay, we have, okay, Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Okay, so as you guys saw, the TBR jar pull for this month was Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I was really nervous about pulling from this jar because a lot of the books that I really, really want to read are not in there. But I ended up getting one that I'm very, very excited for. I've had this on my TBR for quite some time. It was on my 22 books to read in 2022 list that I just never got around to. But I'm glad it's finally on a TBR so I can be more inclined to pick it up. I don't know if I have an audiobook for this one, but I am very excited to get to it. I've heard very mixed reviews. I've heard it reads more middle grade than it does YA. Um, but I am intrigued to give it a go. I have loved the Ishwa's work in the past, so I'm excited to read this one. This one follows a girl named Olivia who gets a letter from her family saying that she needs to come back to Gallant House. But when she gets there, she realizes that nobody sent this letter. The people that sent the letter are not alive. And they're very interesting and spooky rules regarding this house. So I'm intrigued. I'm definitely curious to see how I'm going to like it. If you have read this and enjoyed it, please let me know what you think. All right, now that we've gone ahead and pulled our TBR jar pull, let's go ahead and roll the dice. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the dice and hope that for my first month back, it'll be nice to me. Let's see. Okay, 11. It's not too bad. I'm not going to change it. We're just going to roll with it. Awesome, we rolled the dice. We got an 11. Not bad. It could have been so, so much worse. So I will take an 11. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the very first roll. An 11 is a possible number to maybe get a bingo on this board. You never know what could happen. So let's see. And it begins. <laughs> B1. Okay, B1 got us a Kindle book. Okay, as you guys saw, we got 11 spins for this month and spin number one was number one and that was a kindle book and for this i'm going to be reading the words by ashley jade this is one that i've heard really really good things about a lot of the romance girlies that i watch have been ranting and raving about this book it is a chunky one so hopefully i can still get through it however i just i'm really excited for it it is a rock star romance um basically this man has uh been kind of on the rocks after maybe a death of a friend of his and he is kind of spiraling out of control and the management team hires somebody that he knows will not fall for him and she won't fall for her no wait what am i saying they won't fall for each other but he she will keep him in line and it's a friend from his past um and they end up going on tour together and you know one thing leads to another and they fall in love i've heard really good things but i've also heard it's very very dark so i'm intrigued to see what i think of this one but i'm very excited for it all right so far so good spin number two we have N33. N33 is Seasonathon. All right, up next we got 33, which is Seasonathon. And for this, I chose Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I was supposed to read this one in December, but things got busy and I didn't get a chance to read it. However, we are interviewing Emily McIntyre on the 7th um, at 3 p.m. EST on Mel's channel. This is the group book. And we will be interviewing Emily to talk about this book um, as well as her upcoming release. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. Um, just because I didn't get to it doesn't mean I'm not excited for it. I'm super, super pumped. And obviously I have to get it read. So it was perfect. This prompt came up. And I did mention this in my previous TBR where this one is a Peter Pan retelling dark contemporary where um, Wendy ends up with Hook so I'm excited to give it a go. Okie dokie spin number three. B4. 
Okay, B4 is a 2021 release, but we also have one more spin because there is a pale pink heart right there. Okay, spin number three got us four and that's a 2021 release. It does also have a pale pink heart, which means one extra spin. So we are up to 12, but that's okay. And for 2021 release, I picked um, Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark. This is the sixth and final book in the Brutal, Brutal Birthright series. I do not remember who this book follows. I just know that I need to read it to finish out this series. I have been trying to finish out series um, over the last couple months. That's been my really, really big goal. So if I could finish this one, it would be great. I have absolutely loved this series so far. So I'm intrigued by it. No matter who it follows, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. I have not read any of these books less than four stars, I believe. So really, really pumped for this one. Hopefully I love it and I'll be completing a series. So I'm excited for that. Okay. Spin number four of 12 now. Lots of Bs. B3. <laughs> you know what? I am not going to complain. B3 is a spicy book but also a shiny pink heart, which means we are back down to 11 spins. Spin number four got a spicy book and we got a shiny pink heart, so it's one less spin. So we're back down to 11, we love to see it. And I picked another Sophie Lark book. I'm gonna read There Are No Saints by, of course, Sophie Lark. This is a serial killer romance. Like I said, I have absolutely loved Sophie Lark's work in the past, so I'm hoping this book does not disappoint, but I've heard great things about this duet, so I'm very excited to get into it. Um, all I know is serial killer romance. Literally, that's it. I'm intrigued. Okay, spin number five of again, now 11. We have O64. And we have our first one on the board for this game, 64. And 64 is a book with rep. Okay, spin number five got us book with rep. And for this one, I chose The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. This book has a main character who is deaf. The author is also deaf, so it is own voices. And I'm very excited to give this one a go. Also, the central edges on this, stunning absolutely stunning. I don't really know the full snuffs of this, but I am intrigued by the deaf representation. I don't read a lot of books that have that in this. What? I don't have a lot of books that have that in it. I'm really struggling today. I'm excited to get to this one. Hopefully I love it. This is the pretty much, I only have like one or two fantasies on this list, so hopefully I can get to them. I have been in a romance, you know, reading experience, so I don't read a lot of fantasy, but I'm hoping this one is a good one. Spin number six. N- 45. And 45 is a book I bought secondhand. Spin number six, we got bought secondhand. And for that, I chose Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have had this one on my shelf for a very, very long time. I think this is one of the first Colleen Hoover books I ever bought, yet I still haven't read it. Um, I do not know a single thing about this story. I just know that it makes people sad and ugly cry along with the ugly love. So um, interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued. I have loved Colin Hoover's work. I've given everything that I've read from her other than Layla, a five out of five stars. Um, this says hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, and love gets ugly. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I love it. Spin number seven. O72. O72 is adult fantasy. But we also have a shiny pink heart, so it's one less spin, so we're now down to 10. Spin number seven got a 72, and that is an adult fantasy, but it's also one less spin, so we're down to 10. We love to see it. And for this, I chose a chunky adult fantasy and that is Jade City by Fonda Lee. Uh, I've had this on my shelf for a really long time. I've been meaning to get to it for a really long time. And Karina, my friend, my bestie, she really wants to reread this and I want to read it. So we are gonna buddy beat it together in January. Um, hmm, I'm nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> Send help. I've heard really good things about the series, but I've also heard some mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people really don't. And it is chunky. It is, um, I don't even know, over, 500, over 400 pages, almost 500 pages. Oh, send help. Um, I'm currently reading <laughs> The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson and I'm struggling my way through it, not because it's not good, but it's just so long. So I'm trying to push myself to read more adult fantasy. This is the next step in that direction. Hopefully it's good. I really don't know much about it. I know there's gangs. I know that there is the Greenbone Warriors and Jade, which is like a substance that is being uh, brokered between the two gangs. I don't really know. It sounds like it's going to be a good time, so hopefully I like it. Spin number eight. No! B5. Another one on the board. B5 is to read a sequel. Spin number eight got us five, and that is to read a sequel. Y'all know, I'm in my romance era, so I had to pick up another romance, and that is Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. I'm really trying to finish out this series because the audiobook for her newest series <clears throat> the Kingmaker series? No, what is it called? I don't know. King of Wrath um, is the first book. The audiobook comes out in March. So if I can read this one in January and Twisted Lies in February, then I can read her next release in March. So this is Twisted Hate. This one follows the brother from book one and one of the best friends. And it is a hate to love romance. Sign me up. Thank you very much.
I'm excited. I've heard really, really good things about this one and the, the last book in the series, so I'm hyped. Okay, spin number nine. G49. All right, one more on the board. G49 is a POC author. In spin number nine, we got POC author, and for that, I chose The Bride Test by Anne Huang. I could have used this for um, representation as well, but I wanted to read this so this is what it's sitting in for uh this is the last book in this series that i have not read and i'm very excited to get to this one this one follows kai who we have met previously and um esme i know this has some type of autism representation um i don't really know the full synopsis of this but i'm really excited to give it a go i have loved books one and two in the series book three is definitely one of my favorite books of all time so i'm very excited for this one and hopefully it does not disappoint and what is possibly our last and final spin spin number 10 O71. And the last one was also on the board. O71 is buzzword. And finally, spin number 10, we got 71, which is buzzword. And for that, the buzzword for this month is life and death. And I chose Maybe Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is going to be the only Taylor Jenkins Reid book that I have read outside of her historical fiction world. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out. I believe this follows two different timelines. Um, one where she ends up with her boyfriend and another if she goes with another guy and she's following both time you're following both timelines as she makes different decisions and how that will have ended up i've heard very mixed reviews about this book so i'm very curious to see what i'm gonna think of it but i have loved every other taylor jenkins read book that i have read in the past so i have high high hopes hopefully i love it all right this is my tbr for the month of january a good tbr for the new year hopefully this will set me off right i i'm hoping i can get to all of these i really think that i can but also Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. I am going to have high hopes and think that I can finish all of these. Honestly, a lot of these are books that I have been wanting to read for a really long time. So if I don't get to them, I will be rather sad. So I'm going to push myself really hard to get to them. But if I don't, no worries. They'll still be there when I'm ready to pick them up. But that is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have read any of the books I talked about this video and what you thought of them. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, let me know what you plan on reading for the first month of the year. I would love to hear all of that down in the comments. I love you very much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Nice baby, turn it down